All right, everyone. I've been looking for a legacy workstation that I can keep on without turning my space into a sauna or using all the electricity of the world. And also something that would be easy on peripherals, right? And I figured out that the HP 712 would be ideal. I can run both HP, UX and Next Step, which is excellent. It uses standard VGA monitor, PS2 keyboard and mouse, it has serial ports, SCSI, so it will be very easy to get it set and running. It also has ECC memory for reliability when you run 24-7, and it should even support HP UX 11.11, albeit slowly, and that's the same version I have on my CH1000, so it's going to be very nice for cross-platform development and testing. I could get a Mac Step workstation, but they are way slower with the 68,000 Motorola processors and they also are very expensive and I think they require proprietary peripherals. Anyway, let's get to it. Luckily, it seems to be very well packed. Styrofoam here, bubble wrap, and it should not be too heavy, so let me lift it out. Yeah, it's set against the bottom of the box, which is never great. But let's see. Alright, it seems to be in a good shape. There's a small crack next to the floppy drive cover here, according to the photo, so that is fine. It actually looks better than the eBay photo, although I don't remember this number three uh, sticker in the picture of the ad. Probably the seller added it afterwards, I don't know. Then you get here the PA risk sticker HP logo with the model number and it's quite nice here you know it, it's it has a texture to it it's not um, printed on the sticker like the model number and you get the power switch here it's a clicky one with a spring and it was pushed down when I took it out of the styrofoam yeah on the top condition seems to be quite fine the seller mentioned having cleaned it outside. There are a few scratches here, probably from a CRT sitting on top of it, but nothing too bad. It's not yellowed. It looks pretty decent, to be honest. Right. Few scuff marks here, as you can see. See, like this, you can see the scuff marks better. And if we go back, there are a few more here, but given the age of the machine, it's in a really good shape. Here we get the power supply, 110 watts max, how life has changed, right? So AUI and 10 megs Ethernet, parallel port for printer, SCSI 2, Serial VGA, two PS2 ports, audio in, out, and line, and two expansion cards. So, common sense would call for a pre power inspection and you know, open the chassis and see if the capacitors are okay and so on. However, I'm buying this from eBay, right? So my only VGA monitor is now in use by my girlfriend and well tomorrow morning I will turn it on and if it powers up fine I'll leave the seller a feedback after letting it run for a bit and open it up and inspect. Actually before I go I noticed that the lead was a little bit forward, so I pushed it back. 
and this tab here is broken it was stuck in place with some sort of pressure um, this one is fine right but this one is broken and uh, should be okay and I should be able to fix it um, but it's something I'm gonna mention to the seller right just so maybe when he ships the next one he has two for sale he protects it carefully I have to say though that I really like the design of this machine the fact that it can run HP UX and next step and Linux most probably NetBSD probably as well it is a good chassis the plastic sheet seems to be in a good shape it's not yellow it's small and light a very cool example of the pit box range of workstations before heat and peripherals became so heavy and everything became so power consuming that you know it's hard to justify but this one will not be a problem to have it running for a while and if it runs my development tools and so on I may end up using it quite often anyway for now that's it I will continue recording this same video tomorrow morning all right folks the workstation is connected let's turn it on and see what happens that's a very noisy hard drive as I expected it's gonna go away and be replaced by a blue scuzzy yeah I remember now how these early to mid 90s hard drives were noisy so far nothing on the screen ha ah, I think I'm gonna require a sync on green monitor but more memory than expected, 128, so it's maxed, maxed out. Selecting a system to boot. Yeah, this hard drive is not gonna last very long. Yeah, there is. It seems that there is. Uh, HPUX installed. Let's try to adjust the screen. It sounds like a war here. Android not doing much and I don't know what that step is it's not in the very beginning though so it may be waiting for a network the monitor could be fine it's just maybe struggling that I'm sending 72 Hertz instead of 60 so it's processing the image too fast I'm happy that it's showing the image but okay turn it on again Let's interrupt the boot screen this time. Um, after I'm back from the gym, I will just connect a console cable and that's it. Alright folks, the trick to get display here was to just type monitor 7 blindfolded. You see, and that sets the monitor to VGA 60 Hertz. I should be able to do actually monitor 6, 10, 24, 7, 6, 8, 60. Uh, but for now, I think this is gonna be the best uh, resolution for now. On my B, since we are here, let's try reset or rather monitor. 
Vector 6 and I think this will still boot up. I'm gonna now issue reset and let's see if the monitor is gonna get it. Otherwise I already know how to change it, I just have to escape the boot. Let's see how this Dell monitor, not great, will react. This hard drive will not last long. Okay, so it doesn't like this very high resolution, the colors go messy, so let's do really monitor 6. And, uh, actually, yeah, 1024 it's not great. There's 800, 600, but only 75 hertz, and that I don't want, I want 60 hertz. So let's try again monitor 7. And we are back to VGA, let's do reset. And so now we have good colors, stable image. I'm gonna hook up a network cable just in case it gets stuck waiting for IP address or something. I have one around so I can just get it here. Plug it in. Let's see if my switch is gonna like 10 megs. HP Unix 1020? I was I would expect nine or something. Let's see if I can uh, arrange this display better. Uh, here. I cannot adjust size. It's quite silly. Let's move it down a bit. I guess that will do. We'll leave the menu for now. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording now and let this time out. Alright guys, as you can see I waited for like 10 minutes for that dump writing process end. As you can see the workstation works fine. There is nothing running installing here. There's nothing installed here except this PEX demo that I could find. And yeah, I'll let it burn the CPU here for a couple of hours and then I will leave vendor feedback. And that's it. As soon as I get um, Blue Scuzzy or something like that, I will get Next Step installed and running. And Open this up to inspect inside, yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time.